I'm on my way to meet the shaman. I've been on my way to meet him all my life. Now is the time, though. Perhaps it is the weight of the two deaths I've caused. More likely the presence of the dark spirit that drove Janice, my ex-girlfriend, to her death. I feel it close now. I pray that the shaman will reveal it to me and drive it away. Paroled in 1994, having served life for murder, Norman Parker reinvented himself as a writer. His experiences within the prison system became the focus of four books. The first, Parker's Tales, soon became a bestseller. I did want to do something positive with my life when I came out, and I realised that to have a second chance, I'd have to take more chances than the average person. Now a successful journalist, he travels to dangerous places across the world, writing hard-hitting stories dealing with the darker side of humanity and driven by a personal quest to discover the true meaning of evil in a world plagued with violence and terror. Norman will go anywhere and he will get the story and he'll get it with humour. And it is that kind of gallows humour, that prison humour, that uh, you can't buy. If I've deliberately picked dark subjects, it's because I've developed my own particular theory of evil and I feel I understand it perhaps better than certain other people. Despite harbouring fears that victims of his past may return to settle old scores, Norman agrees to take part in an ancient voodoo ceremony said to rid the body of evil spirits. His main concern, to get the story and home with body and soul intact. <laughs> A series of nightmares tormented Norman following a girlfriend's violent death at the hands of a serial killer, forcing him to consider the possibility of spiritual possession. I realised that when I started to talk about spirituality that there are certain people who would think I was crazy. But having said that, there were certain things I observed and as a writer and a journalist, all I can do is commentate on what I observed. No one's going into you know, quite an unknown jungle meeting someone who is not your run-of-the-mill doctor and taking something that, you know, who knows what will happen, so... But Norman's the man that did it. This is what you get. This is the Finnish yahe that's been boiled on the fire. This is what I will be drinking. It's yahe. 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 Ayahuasca. Jamal yahe. Mezclado con yahe. It's a really mystical drug that, that has claimed to have been at the root of most religions for the last 3,000 years. It's also a kind of cleansing drug that comes out of both ends, which isn't too pleasant for the person taking it, which is probably why it's not caught on in the Western world. I've got a toilet roll on top of that drum over there. Can you bring it over? <laughs> not a man. I feel that my life path is leading me in certain areas and one day will lead me into an area that will be very interesting but very profound and perhaps I can interpret that.